Central retinal vein occlusions usually occur in people over 50. The commonest association is with high blood pressure, although it can be associated with glaucoma and diabetes. In a central retinal vein occlusion, the blood vessel, the vein that takes blood out of the whole of the retina, gets blocked. And that means that there's a buildup of pressure behind. And that buildup of pressure gets transmitted to the capillaries, the tiny blood vessels where um, nutrients move out of the blood into the retina and waste products move out of the retina into the bloodstream. When this pressure rise occurs, you can get either just hemorrhage, which is tiny little spots of blood because the blood leaks out of the damaged blood vessels, the capillaries, or you can get some complete blockage of the blood vessels. After a while, if there's some persistent damage to the, to the vein or the capillaries, you can get leakage from the blood vessels, the capillaries. And if you get leakage, it makes the macula swell up. And if the macula swells, it doesn't work properly. This leakage is called macular edema. And macular edema is probably the commonest reason why people with central retinal vein occlusions lose vision.